still stable beta 0.730A and uh, don't quite recall what we were in the middle of last oh yes I do we were grinding last time single player did do a little bit of work on my uh, single player not let's play zero but uh, for this one so let's jump in all right so what do we got do we have any levels we do we've got a little bit of leveling going on here now I was reminded by my other single player that magic is useful specifically this little cloud strike companion guy so we're gonna put a couple levels into this guy And I don't have enough to bring him up to gold level yet. And we're using the icicle, so we will upgrade our... Can we? No, we can't upgrade that. We'll upgrade our thing, our one-handed. Uh, Shadow Clone. Haven't used that yet. No, I think that's going to come in handy. Upgrade it yet either. Alright, we will save the gold point and we will go down to talents. Alright, what do we got? Um, Alright, utility flow for utility spell, multitasking. Increase the smooth charge of skill. Quick reflexes. Increases the perfect guard activation window by 20% per talent point. 60% chance of perfect level. 5% per talent level. Okay, what's this? EP regen. Max that out for max EP. Mm. <clears throat> Each normal attack has five percent chance per talent level. Burn enemies for 100% of your magic attack damage. Hmm. But maybe we will. So the uh, attack and magic attack. Uh, what's that? Increased crit chance, eh? Let's do some uh, crit chance bonuses here. Nine percent chance crit. Now right, we're gonna charge up our little cloud buddy here. Hold on him. I will have a permanent loss of DP while that's in effect, but he will come in very handy. Alright. Yep, definitely comes in pretty handy. We need to go to Stamp Workshop. I don't recall where that is at this very moment. I 
think it's up here. Hmm. <laughs> yep, Santa's workshop is up here. And as we figured out last time, this uh, giant icicle has a ranged portion to it. Thinking, oh, hello, things. Dude, you are insanely overpowered. Oh, door closed. Door is obviously controlled by the button over there, and they broke the thing pressing down. Uh, seriously? Hey, it worked! What a lucky guess. What the heck? When the button is down, the door is up. When the button is up, the door goes down. Hmm. Ah, I think I understand now. Alright, see so I'll stand on the button and you go through. While you're chasing after those guys, I'll break through the stuff barking the left exit. That way we won't need to worry about kill stealing. Thanks. Alright. Alright, so, you see these little dots right here? I mean, I'm about to open up a mini boss as soon as I get far enough into the room. Let's give it a shot. Not building bombs, eh? Like a slime in a box. All right, more bombs. But I think we're gonna switch back over to weapon that's uh, a little bit quicker here. You are a very overzealous bomb layer. Alright. I mean, he was actually counting down the number of things I had to defeat. I think it started at 20. Okay. Puzzle room down there. The more of these little dots, things are gonna come out the train thingies. Yeah. Can we go back to the uh, pumpkin woods? This was a little less dangerous. Yeah, there we go. Another trap? 
Really? Well, Mag's getting mad. He's just us. Okay. Can't see any clear way out either. Puzzle must be the key, but we can't reach it. Part of a trap, but we can't be escaped. Well, amateurs! Probably gonna die a lot. If that happens, I might fast forward here. Alright. Okay, so far. Is this just gonna be a dodging puzzle? Get there. So easy. Okay. again. What do you think the best strategy here would be? Got it. Sweet. Uh, here, we go down. Oh, shame, guess what's wrong with that, you? No. Someone must keep Goldilocks out of trouble. Why don't you go? Why don't you two go and find another way in or something? Hey, that's not a dumb idea at all. All right, team. We are on the job. 
Haha, <laughs> finally some good news. Let's go corner those bastard crosslights, kid. Alright, through the door. Evil toy thing. Rage toy machine.
and then I'll turn. Get mad, we broke a ton of our stuff. Just blame it on the crosslings. It's the perfect crime. Man, I don't think I've had this much fun on a Tuesday for years. Let's go find some more quests. It's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Alright, Wednesday then. Wait, Wednesday? I was supposed to meet Mom and Harry an hour ago. Uh, let's team up again some other day, okay? I got a bolt. See you around. Aw, look, Luke is so cute. But I'm glad to be back with my real team, too. Let's go give Miss Claus good news. Oot. Could be able to get here. Oot. Is full health gonna come in here? No. Well, well, I'll be damned. The kid really went and did it. Of course we did. We're heroes, after all. Yes, yes. Very impressive. Here's the, uh, essence of spring. I promise. <laughs> honey? We went through all that for some honey? Silly bag, you. What did you think it was? Everyone knows that honey is the essence of spring. And everyone knows you can buy honey for next to nothing in town. What? No way. But Miss Claus said... What are y'all staring at me for? It ain't my fault you guys went and made a big dumb deal. Blame the market economy. I'd rather blame the pay. But I've run out of sarcasm. Let's go back and get those trees out of the way. Woot! Level up! Now, oh, where's that husband of mine slacking off? Alright, let's break some stuff. Jar shard. I'm trying to think jar shards are only good to be sold. Maybe they get recycled and turned into other jars. That's why. Yeah. Okay, let's level up. We're going to uh, try to level up that cloud guy again. He is very useful. Alright. That's that one. Try to new one up. A little tiny bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit. I still don't know what these uh, um, bells are for. Okay. Okay, let's move the trees out of the way. And past the giant muffin thing. Here we go. Okay, round two, prepare for awesomeness! Oh, Mother Nature, hear the purity of my voice. Let thy children be swayed by a gentle breeze. <clears throat> Amen. Attention! We all stare at any rotten pieces of planks to me. Move your ugly trunks out of my way. And I'll chop the law of ya and throw you in the hearth. Well, I'll be. The bug has her uses after all. 
<laughs> it feels a little bit weird, but for some reason they won't move unless you're really rude. Well, the house is open now. Let's go. Oot. All right. Santa Fe. Ta-da! Welcome to the fan fantastic city of Santa Fe. Capital peace, love, and laughter. I can't wait to tell everyone about you. Speaking of everyone, where are they? Oh no, please, I didn't mean. Please! What's all that stuttering, bo stuttering boy? Having trouble keeping your head cool? Mm -hmm. Baby, I could help with that. Oh no. Enough of your torment. I have stayed my hand too long. Face me, fiend, and I shall prove more than your equal. Now, now, Autumn. What happened to your precious coat of nature? A fay may not harm another. I have not forgotten. But if the coat is true, then by your actions you are no longer a fay. If the winter I knew still lives in your heart, may he know it was with solemn regret, regret that I made this decision. Autumn is right. Whatever possessed you to become like this, it can't go on. I'm sorry, Winter. This is where the madness ends. Madness. I'll tell you what's madness. This cursed chaos we call seasons. Life and death. Death and life. Endings and beginnings in an undying storm of pointless change. Grow a flower, and it shall surely die. Build a snowman, and it too shall perish. Through the power of the gauntlet, I shall tame the temple of seasons and bring order to this world. And you too will help me. Uh oh. I... yes. How could I not see it before? The cruelty of it all. I shall stand by your side, Master Winter, as you erase the seasons. I agree. What is the point of bees and flowers if they all just rot and die? So much pain and what for? It would be better if the seasons didn't exist at all. <laughs> Victory is mine. There is no one left to stop me. Come, my subjects. Let's bring the world of Grandia to an endless winter. Uh-oh. Oh no! Autumn and Summer have been turned? And that weird speech of his sounded totally evil, too. Like, end-of-the-world-level evilness. Come on, team, we must hurry, before it's too late. For once, I'm inclined to agree with the Butterfly. The way he's talking, it seems his plan involves way more than just the Fae. Let's go see how he likes being picked on by somebody ten times his size. Alright, and with that, which is about the half hour mark, so... I'm gonna cut it here, and uh, we will be coming back to uh, this point, actually, because I intend on doing another episode tonight. And, uh, well, thanks again for watching. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks again. Bye for now.